Hello Tubesters. Take two. Well, at least it's take two. Well, we take four, five and six as usual. Uh, these 40 questions. Yes, it, I'm going like this again as if it's going to magically appear above me, Ed. I'm not that good at editing. Good editing? Go see uh, Joe. Mad Genius Productions. Uh, thanks Joe. Knowing me, knowing you. Uh -huh. Yes, I can sing. We've not got there yet though. Uh, Right, uh, 40 questions. Uh, was I going to do it? Wasn't I going to do it? We all know I've got a mashed head. Uh, I already talk about myself way too much to say this is a channel about uh, figure painting and modelling, scale modelling, not any other type of modelling that would get me in way too much trouble with the missus. But scale modelling and figure painting, so I talk a lot about myself anyway. It's just, you know, yes, I suppose you can call it therapy. Uh, but it's uh, it's what I do. So I thought, yeah, let's do a bit more therapy. I mean, <laughs> what more chucklehead can I make of myself? So let's go and answer 40 questions. Not particularly quickly. Uh, I'm looking over here because they're on my computer screen. Uh, do you like blue cheese? No, <laughs> I do not like blue cheese. I love cheese. Um, cheddar being my favourite. And I literally will have cheese sandwiches cheese on toast probably not great for the uh, for the was it the fatty bits going around in your body especially at my age but i probably have them three or four times a, a week and i'll even cut a piece of cheese off in the fridge and just munch on it if i'm fancy something to eat love cheese but really despise blue cheese <laughs> gopping as we used to say in the army uh coke or pepsi uh, i used to drink got two teeth missing used to drink uh, that wasn't one of the questions was it but I've got I used to drink a lot of pop as we can say over here um, and in the army we used to clean our machine gun parts out with the uh, and working parts of the rifles out with coke if you wanted a quick uh, you know clean them up quickly so no wonder I've got two teeth missing but uh, yeah I used to drink it by the litre you know just neck it back um, really not fussed on it haven't been fussed on it now again maybe it's an age thing wife drinks loads way too much uh, although it is the diet stuff. I, I, I don't know I, whether it's the diet stuff, whether it's the fat stuff. I, I don't really drink as much as I used to. Uh, the wife brings, or used to bring back a lot of Coke, so I'll say Coke, but I'm just as happy drinking Pepsi. I preferred the can, or the bottles, or the colours of the Pepsi, you know, especially in the 80s, 90s, um, if that's any reason to drink it. So, yeah, we'll say Coke, uh, but really either. Uh, in a relationship, I've just mentioned my significant other, my wife, yes, uh, oh, 23 years, something like that, I've been together. Uh, gets me out of one scrape after another, <laughs> always. Um, you know, yeah, uh, nothing much I can say. I keep her in the background apart from the wife, she doesn't like, uh, although I do believe once she saw a shadow, now that could have been a ghost as well, but she did see a shadow waft past the door once, but uh, no, she doesn't like... Uh, being brought out and stuff like this so uh, I wouldn't but yeah I'm married uh, um, and I've been for a long time uh, let's see whiskey tequila or vodka none I don't like spirits don't like spirits don't like wine uh, very uh, even growing up I went through stages where I drink you know a whole three or four pints a, a night but I've never even been a big but, you know, even in the army, I was a sober bloke who got the the the, the drunks back uh, to barracks. Uh, I'm not. Um, I've never been a massive drinker. Like um, there's a I don't know if it's a lager or a beer, but Bangla, um, Cobra. Uh, when we have a curry over here, I'm answering these questions way before they even supposed to, supposed to yet. Uh, but uh, if I do have a curry, uh, I might have a beer. But uh, we we hardly ever have any in the house, um, and I don't go out. Oh, I don't really drink, but no, definitely spirits, never liked them. Uh, hot dog or cheeseburger? Definitely a cheeseburger. Uh, not that I eat a lot of burgers or hot dogs, to be honest with you. Again, I don't go out, uh, so I don't really, don't really eat a lot of that stuff. You couldn't tell, could you? Uh, but um, wife pushes me to go to, there's a, a, a pub chain called Harvester uh, in the UK, most of the UK chipsters all know it and uh, they do a burger with um, the pulled pork, barbecue pulled pork on top and they do some chunky chips 
and uh, I probably have that about three times a year and then Mackey D's probably another three or four times a year uh, so yeah it'd have to be a cheeseburger um, favourite food curry 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 and once again curry I love curry <laughs> absolutely love it now I'm not one of these you know ones with the files or the anyway red hot ones uh, but I don't like them I like medium so um, Booners Booners usually my favourite nice chicken sarg which is spinach uh, with some mushrooms in and a uh, either a vegetable pilau rice or a, a keema which is a spiced uh, minced lamb uh, in the rice so yeah curry every time don't really get to well obviously with lockdowns and stuff this year it's been a write-off but we still get the takeaway uh, anybody in the black country blue ball curry house cradley you've got to try it just don't go in mondays and tuesdays because if i ever do get to a curry house I, with my head i can't do crowds so stay away of them two nights, but get the, get the takeaways. Uh, no, this isn't a paid promotion. But yeah, love curry. Uh, not a big fan, this, Chris is gonna kill me for this, not a big fan of Italian. <laughs> uh, Joe mentioned sushi. Uh, I've never really had sushi, I'd love sushi. <laughs> I'd love it, I, you know, I like Japanese stuff, but I, 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 I've, I've had a couple of like these buffet, Chinese cheap buffet things, it's not sushi, but uh, you know that's as, as close as I've ever got to it. Uh, not a big steak type eater like uh, Charlie Mac. Um, yeah, it's just curry for me. Uh, I, don't, I would eat that seven days a week if I could afford it. I can't. I do try and cook my own, but it's it's not the same. Uh, right. Uh, what do we say? Uh, Favorite food. What do you drink in the a.m. The a.m. I mean, I take it that's the morning. Uh, tea. In fact, have we still got any here? No, I won't show you the bottom of that. <laughs> yeah, my asterisk mug as usual. Um, like Charlie Mac, uh, never like coffee, upsets my stomach. So that's two, that's uh, another one I'm with you with Charlie. Don't like uh, you know, coffee. Um, drunk a few times in the army when we were out, wet, cold, miserable, and, and you tend to drink out collective misting. <laughs> so it's whoever's, whatever's made that drink, you take a few swigs out of it. Um, but no, never been a, Never been a curry fan. Sorry, my computer's just gone off it. A curry, coffee fan. So tea, very strong tea. Yorkshire tea. Uh, if you get a chance to buy a brand called Yorkshire tea, uh, the red label particularly is very nice, but they do red and green for the different water, hard or soft waters, wherever you are. But uh, Yorkshire tea is, is a nice strong brew. And I, I don't know why I have milk in it, because it's that black that I have it. I don't have sugar or anything in it. Uh, let me see. Um, so yeah, <laughs> going around my rambling way. Tea, yeah, uh, sometime in the morning, but I drink it all day. And uh, my last cup of tea or mug of tea is usually about nine-ish at night. Can I do a hundred push-ups uh, when I'm dreaming? I can do anything. Uh, when I was in the army, can I have done hundred push-ups? When I was in infantry, uh, the lads would probably tell you no. <laughs> he couldn't. <laughs> Maybe I can. I try and do them properly. I think you can do 100, you can do 300, but are you doing them properly? Um, I, I'm an ex tree climber um, and tree worker in general, uh, but I've spent a lot of years in the harness, rope and harness work, and um, all my, it all caught up with me. You know, it gave me a big solid body, but it caught up with me in the end. And uh, elbow joints gone, hip joints gone, um, tinnitus, uh, had a piece of tree going to my hand and up into my fingers, you know, I'm, I'm, one of these days I'll learn to turn that down off. So yeah, um, uh, I can't do 100 push-ups, no, uh, but I am doing a bit of fitness at the moment. I've got one of those um, you know, cold weather trainers for your mountain bike or sports or cycling bikes, you know, you, you hook the back wheel up and it's got a magnet on and I do that, in fact I did half an hour today. And then I've got some pot bottles, two litre pot bottles full of water because I can't afford weight. <laughs> so, and and this, the elbows are gone, so I can only do so much. But I'm desperately trying to. You could, come on, guys, you can see the chin slowly getting less down here. Uh, so, yeah, I can't do 100 push ups, I wish I could. Uh, Favourite season? Oh, that's a hard one because you can look for beauty in any season, really. Um, I'm actually not a big fan of summer. I don't really 
not a heat person, so I, I used to live in Western Australia for a couple of years. Uh, I am really a winter person, stroke autumn person. Uh, I used to work my gun dogs, um, and uh, I like being out in the field, or used to. Now it's just for walks, just walk, the, walk my, my remaining pop archie now. I'm doing like this because he was, he, well, he's gone now, but he was, he was down behind me. Um, yeah, I, uh, I would, I'll, if you've got to, you can't be surveyed, Gav. I like, um, yeah, we'll say, we'll say, We'll say winter time, and we'll say winter time. Uh, we don't have a lot of snow. I'm in the West Midlands of the UK, and we don't really have a lot of snow. About every ten years, we'll get a huge dump, but uh, it's not it's not a snowy thing. That's another question, isn't it? I keep answering beforehand, but yeah, I, I like the. Um, I just like the different. I actually prefer autumnal colours, the browns, yellows. There's different starknesses. You get the greens of the the different moss on the trees and stuff. Um, because I live in the suburbs on the edge of the black country, which is uh, like the Rust Belt in the States. So it's uh, we've got a local Heathland common area about five miles up the road, and I, I enjoy being out there with my pops. So, but there's one time uh, when the hawthorn comes out over here in the hedges and stuff, and it comes out when, when the leaves bud burst, they they come out really like vivid green. And you just know the seasons then turned, and I do like that particular time as well. And when the hawthorn gets into May time, the hawthorn uh, gets loaded with heavy scented flowers, uh, and that's nice to walk. You can smell it in the air, really sickly sweet smell, but it's 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 quite a nicer smell. But winter time is I'm quite happy slopping through the mud. Uh, let me see. Favorite hobby. Um, favorite hobby would be. Well, as you know, I paint figures. Uh, painting and modelling have been a. Uh, I've had lapses of, of it, and I've said to you guys, I didn't model for thirty years, so there's been a big lapse. Uh, but I was painting figures all the way through that. Um, I had a really, uh, really, not not pleasant from from the about the age of about twelve. It wasn't pleasant, uh, and I used to hide away in books and military books and military history books and uh, making models as a kid and then uh, later on uh, painting figures uh, and that's uh, I've been told since I've had PTSD since I was a kid uh, and it's my head snapped about three or four years ago as, we, as I've told you often enough uh, and the painting figures and later on the modelling, uh, I'm at my bench now. This this bench you've seen it on one of my man that tour, man cave tour thing I did. Uh, that, that's it keeps me going. Um, a big chunk of it does. Yeah, I've got my wife. Uh, see, well, you can see the bunch of flowers up there. That's that's Barkley's little box. As we all know, he passed away. I think last year. Um, and he and Arch as well. He's they were both my both. Uh, it's they're like rocks in it, you know. When you've got bad problems, um, that it, sometimes it's hard to control. Uh, it's like being swept away in a in a raging torrent, and you grab grab rocks, trees, car roofs, whatever it is, you know, to stop yourself getting swept away. Um, and losing Barclay is one of the rocks that went. Um, my army service was uh, that's coming up soon in a video. Um, that there was particular part of that service meant a lot to me. Um, my wife obviously, uh, but sitting here I'm safe with my painting and my, my modelling. Um, I make contact with the world through, you know, through all this type of stuff. Talking to you guys like this, see, you know, a lot of people won't do this, oh, I can't blame you, <laughs> but I've got no pride left. <laughs> no, it's not on pride, is it? Because a lot of guys are doing it now doing them a disservice. I just mean, you know, I am who I am. I've come to terms with that in some ways. Uh, so yeah, uh, um, definitely paint, uh, figure painting and um, scale modelling. And as I say, I used to work my pops. Uh, I always call them pops because I think dogs are impersonal, it's impersonal, they're pops. They're our family, they're, they're my boys. Uh, and that one behind me will always be. Um, but he's passed, and 
Arch is up for well, he, he you know we both retired from from uh, field uh, from working dog working um, a couple of years ago as a hobby. So now it's just it is just the figure painting and the and the modelling. But I put everything into it as best as I can. Um, you know, it's just something it keeps my head centered. Uh, it, and it just keeps me gives me something for my head to to work with. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Tattoos? Nope, never had one. Never had a massive desire. I was going to have my regimental cap badge tattooed on my arm as I was leaving the army. Because <laughs> I forget. The problem is now in my head, I forget a lot. <laughs> so probably I should have had one. Uh, but the missus, I was dating her for the last year I was in the army and uh, she put her foot down with a firm hand. Uh, so now I've got no tattoos. Uh, do you wear glasses? Yeah, I've mentioned my old readers enough. I guarantee there'll be a time when I'm probably going to have to wear them full time, but at the moment it's just for uh, working, uh, as in painting figures. Phobias. Used to be terrified of rats and mice. Um, and then I joined the army, and no, they don't put you through a program to do not fear rats and mice. <laughs> but uh, we were stationed in Hong Kong as it was shutting down, last days of empire. And uh, one of the they'd move the companies around the rifle companies around sport companies or well, anyway each company got a, a different bar, old barracks to we were more or less stopping the locals ripping it off I'd imagine but we did bits of training and stuff as well but um, on the main the main base where the HQ company was of our battalion it, you know you'd roll roll each company would do a different you'd be moved around these different places and this one was actually on Hong Kong docks and. At night, the rats that used to come out, my life, you always hear as big as cats, but dock rats are big. <laughs> they are huge. Uh, they, um, they would literally just come and just sit three inches from the end of your boot. And this particular, it wouldn't be so bad if you were doing a fence patrol or something, but I always got stuck on the blooming barrier. <laughs> There's nowhere to go. <laughs> Uh, you can't lock yourself in a little, there's no, you know, you were just there. There was a bit of a grain shell, the type of thing, but that was it. There was, and that was open. Uh, and and I am prone to exaggeration. Yes, I'll admit it. And you'll often hear people say rats. Oh, I was like a moving carpet. Well, it was. You'd say, as soon as the lights, as soon as it got dark, it was a, from my post right up to the main Past some accommodation areas and that, but right up to the main centre of the barracks uh, it was just one straight road. It wasn't wide; it was about enough to, to get two vehicles, you know, British vehicles. So there wouldn't be there wasn't a very wide road, and uh, they would just be alive, <laughs> live with these damn things running everywhere, and that broke me for you because you, what can you do? You know, you're there. You're, I'm surprised they didn't carry one of us off. But yeah, so no, I, I can't say that I've got any now. Uh, they, they do say confront your fears and that type of thing, so I suppose that did it for me. Nicknames, plenty, but none repeatable. Uh, favourite candy, sweets. Uh, favourite sweets, um, two teeth missing. <laughs> I like sweets. Uh, not as much as I used to. Uh, I do cut down, but I, you'll often hear me mention gummy bears. I love any type of gummy bears. Uh, do have chocolate from time to time wife loves it um, and it's weird she's telling herself she's getting some from me <laughs> yeah right uh, but you know once every couple of weeks she'll bring a couple of bags of, from back from shopping a couple if they're on special some, some types of gummy bears so Harry Bows I don't know if you have them in the States but around Europe and UK Harry Bows are fairly big and I do like Harry Bows so uh, that's that um, do you believe in ghosts be honest with you, I don't believe in anything I haven't seen myself. Um, that's not disparaging all you guys that have seen stuff. You say you've seen it, you've seen it. I'm just saying I haven't seen any. So, um, could there be anything out there? Yeah. Now this was, brings me back to a discussion we had in the 1980s, which we'll come back to another discussion on one of the other questions. You can see I've watched a few of these. Uh, they, um, but around the late 80s, we're sitting around uh, like 19, 20 year olds having a beer uh, in the pub, and because uh, I don't, I believe I don't think you can in the United States, but over here you can be in a pub at 19 drinking beer or 18. Uh, anyway, we were having a couple of beers and uh, we were just chatting about the world and everything, 
you know, the universe. And uh, one of the guys was saying, you know, he started talking about ghosts. And I said, when I came up with the theory, I just think when you're seeing ghosts, it's like layers of an onion. You know, you under, you know, you can literally unwrap an onion; it's one layer after the other. And I just think ghosts are, if they, if there is, uh, it's just you're just seeing a uh, shimmering time. So, my own personal belief is, if you're seeing something, it's a, uh, it's a hole in time, and you're just seeing somebody from that period, um, of that particular time. And for some reason, you can see through it into that hole in time. So, keep unwrapping your onion layers, you know, and going back. You can go back five years. You might see somebody from five years ago. You might see somebody from hundred years ago, or whatever. That's my way of looking at it. But until I encounter something. You know, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, do I believe in him? No, because I haven't seen it myself. Um, so, uh, biggest downfall. I come on YouTube talking about myself way too much. <laughs> uh, biggest downfall um, problem with me see I've got such a smashed up head there's lots of things you could throw into that mix you know what I mean it's um, biggest downfall uh, I'm quick to judge again no a lot of it as I've been told by the, the head people is is it's my work I don't, you know I process stuff like a kid would so I've been told um, and that's because I had a bad time or for a long <laughs> for a good few years uh, so yeah I'm probably quick to judge um, but sometimes that can be a good thing because you can judge things right or you can judge things wrong a bit quickly you know but uh, yeah I'm, I'm quick to judge but I'm not particularly quick to run into things you know what I mean uh, I don't follow people you know that, that's not downfall though you know what I mean it's uh, no um, I don't have high, high expectations of people, but again, that's all to do with my, my egg problems. I've so I've got deep trauma and PTSD and all that stuff. So, um, it, yeah, it's uh, I've probably got lots and lots of downfalls, down downfalls, but I'm not going to beat myself up any more than I already do about them. I'll leave that to you guys. Uh, rain or snow, rain. Yeah, we don't have a lot of snow where I am in the West Midlands. Um, it's nice, but like people say, it covers all the dog muck. It covers all the all the litter. And for what I do like about the snow is, you know, when you get that purple look, you look out at one o'clock in the morning, twelve o'clock when it's dark, and you get that purple look. And it's that that's brilliant. I like that. Um, but rain, I've worked out. I've been, I'm an outside. Well, I was an outside worker until I paid soldiers. Uh, I've worked. You know, rain. Um, as I keep saying, you'll be surprised what beauty, beauty you can find in things that maybe a lot of people wouldn't, you know, and rain's one of them. I like hearing the rain um, against the wind's, wind when it's when it's really rattling, you know, and the wind's like gravel up the, the wind the windows. I've been out and it, like I always say, as long as I can go home and get dry, uh, I like the rain. Piercings, yeah, I've got uh, an ear pierced. Uh, it probably won't accept an earring anymore. I had it done at the tender age of 21. Uh, kept it on for about six, six, five, six, eight years. Then I met my wife. She don't like men with earrings. Sorry, Charlie. Uh, <laughs> she says, I've got too much of a beat up face. She says, I look, it makes me look like a, like a football hooligan. I don't know what football hooligans are supposed to look like. <laughs> but, uh, and that is football guys with a round ball. You know? Let's just get it right. Football, not soccer. Uh, Pearson's age, uh, Pearson's age, early fifties. Though I look a lot older. Uh, French fries or onion rings, uh, chips in other words. <laughs> uh, we've got. I'd have the odd frozen. We got frozen onion rings in there. In fact, uh, wife bought. He said a name then. Wife bought. Um, some onion rings back from shopping last night actually with the, those beer battered ones uh, but I'm a, I'm a chip eater you know but, um, 
we got well the, we we have got the, they say f uh, fries on the side them little them little thin fries on the bag we've got in the freezer, uh, but um, chips yeah I like a chip from time to time. Uh, kids no I've got two working cocker spaniel well I've got one working cocker spaniel and that's just like having kids. Yeah I know all the kid all the parents out there are throwing things at the computer but uh, favorite color green. Any shade of, always like green. Uh, no particular reason. It's just always been my favourite colour. Can you sing? Knowing me, knowing you. Ah, oh. I don't know the rest of the words. <laughs> it's gone. I can sing. <laughs> Go back to some of them Vietnam videos I did. I can sing. <laughs> well, I keep telling myself that anyway. I think a few of you said different, but uh, hey, can I whistle? Isn't that Lauren Bacall? Didn't she say you put your links in whistle? Or was that uh, was that uh, Humphrey Bogart? <whistles> I can whistle. Probably get me pop up there now. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he says, well, where were you born? Sir, I was born in the deep south. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sean in Arkansas. That's the best I could do, Mara. <laughs> so, yeah, I was born in the south. Uh, but only um, because uh, my father was in uh, the Grenadier Guards uh, outside Buckingham Palace, that type of boys. And uh, we were obviously go from barracks to barracks and I was born down there. But I've spent most of my life, apart from moving around the world, you know, obviously with the army or, sorry my pops just come in, or uh, I lived in Western Australia for a couple of years. But uh, yeah, I was born actually down in Surrey, um, but I've spent most my well from 12 11 12 whatever up here in the west midlands uh, and check out where the west midlands are on the map you'll you'll see us and i'm in the black country half of it uh or third of it uh where are you born uh, siblings uh it's not going to bother going into that uh can you cook yeah i can cook uh, when I got together with my wife, uh, I learned that if I didn't learn to cook, I'd starve. And uh, she does everything. She'll be up painting the guttering, although we've just had it done plastic a couple of years ago, so we're, you know, maybe not playing. But she, you get the picture. She was actually putting laminate down uh, the other way. <laughs> I do it as well, <laughs> but she loves doing all that stuff. But she don't like cooking. She can burn charcoal, <laughs> so I can do cakes, I can do most stuff. Do I enjoy it like Chris and that? Not really. It's just a thing I do to and uh, my head problems um, which again is ridiculous but uh, I don't always eat as, as well or right as I'd so I'll cook hers and I'll push mine around the table and I oh, know okay, Gav are you really? But I eat a lot of gummy bears. I'm big boned. Uh, but you know I don't um, I can cook I don't I don't hate cooking I just put it it's not something I massively enjoy. Can I swim? Yes, I. Uh, when I was living in Australia, I got my diving ticket. Apart from the deepest part, so I can do. I can only do the was it fifteen meters, twenty meters. I was doing the paddy thing. <laughs> I am the only one that gets seasick in a buoyancy vest. <laughs> I couldn't make it up. <laughs> I'm from the West Midlands. We're we're in the middle of the country. I don't get to do much stuff on boats or anything and I'd been on a couple of Royal Navy bits and pieces in the army but uh, they're big things and we weren't on them long and so uh, they took me out on these little fishing boats to dive off as we were doing our deep dive and uh, practicing and stuff and I just had my head over the side the entire time that I was that far gone I, I more or less passed out and they had to leave me on the in fact no actually they threw me on the side over the side to see if I'd uh, if I could uh, you know shake it off and they, they refused to take me down so <laughs> Uh, I can swim, haven't swum for years. I always say, you know, if I fell in the canal, we have a lot of canals around here. Uh, if I fell in the canal, I could uh, I could get to the side and get myself out. Um, can you swim? Uh, are you religious? Not in the least. Uh, I've got no time for religion whatsoever. Again, before everybody starts shouting at me, I know that I've got a lot of religious uh, maras out there. Fill your boots. It's your right to believe in whatever you want to believe in. Uh, I just don't like it shoved down my own throat. So um, I just, nah, I'm, I've seen too much 
uh, you know, going back to me, you know, whatever as a kid and whatever. Um, I'm alluding to stuff, you know, without going into loads of it, but nah, I've got no time for religion. You've only got to see what goes around the world now. And it's and it's all types of religion. It ain't just one, so let's not just pick out one bit. Um, and I know that's different people's interpretation of it, as, as the, the you know as other people would say. But fill your boots. You want to believe in a mighty being or gods or whatever it is. You worship trees. Fill your boots. But me, no. I do um, my little man behind me, Barkley, uh, to get me through the. Well, however long I'm here, um, I like to see. I think Joe and Charlie have actually said it. Uh, going back to that 1980s, sitting around the pub table, one of the other things with discussions we'd had was uh, a, having a life force, uh, energy release, and all that stuff. Uh, I left school with not much. Uh, I left school. I was about to tell him off then. He's starting to whinge because he wants his. He has certain times when we go out in the garden and have a play with the ball. Uh, um, I'm not saying there ain't nothing, you know, where, where does that energy go? Well, like the film Gladiator, and uh, he's dying, opens the gate, his dead family are in the, the fields or whatever. I think of that like for my little man up there, because I've got to see him again, he means too much to me. But do I believe that it's anything religious? No. D do I even, you know, it's just something I try and hold on to. Um, but, no, if you, any of you guys that are, just, I just don't like it. I, I don't like it forced down people's necks. That's all. You know what I mean? It's. I don't need to know. You know, it's not something about somebody that I particularly need to know. You know, uh, I often knock people back on Facebook when they they off. If I see a load of religious stuff, um, I just, it's like same with politics. On you know, when people put politics, religion, or as I will say it on my channel, I might brush with it from time to time if there's a particular reason, but. Um, yeah, it's just, that's a personal thing, you know, um, I don't need to know it. Uh, shower or bath, um, or bath around here. Um, we don't have a shower, uh, we've only got one bath. Uh, we ain't exactly loaded, we keep wanting to shower, or wanting to shower. <laughs> Whew, <laughs> no, I mean, we want a shower, but it's money, um, and we ain't got any. So, uh, well, not a lot anyway. Uh, bath, so yeah, it's it's a bath, it has to be. We've got the old cast iron bath, you know, the enamel one. The old council ones, if this is the next council house, you'll know the ones in the UK. Uh, so that's that. Uh, big city or out in nature. Um, I don't get on with crowds and people. I never have done, you know, as I say, it's only been in the last few years, my head's absolutely smashed, but... Uh, it's again, it, it, I can be around people, but um, we're not a big country here in the UK. And if you want to live in nature, you will have to be middle class or, you know, well, not, not necessarily middle class, like that's wrong, but I just it's, it's hard to live in the country in the UK, in England anyway, um, because the people with money have just. Even the even the agriculture workers, on they're getting paid low wages. They can't afford to live in the in the country. Uh, they've been priced out. Uh, it's where all the, the the better off people want to live. So as usual, the others get pushed into the margins. So yeah, I'd love to live out in the nature. I would be one of these people if I was by myself. I'd have me a couple of pops. I'd be living in Af in in um, Alaska, you know, type of thing. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's um, that's probably me. Uh, are you a good friend? Uh, I don't. I, I'm, as I said, I'm because I'm a bit smashed up. I'll, or I, I've been all my life. It just obviously it's got worse now. Um, I again. So I've been told by my head people. I'm. Um, I, I see th things through the eye of a child, and I've got a very black and white way of looking at things. There's not much greyness in between. So. Um, uh, if you're good to me, I'm good to you. Uh, if you're two-faced, I'll stamp all over your face. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, I've, you know, I don't. No, I mean that. Daisy gone. I, <laughs> I, uh, 
I just don't. Um, I can't really answer that because I don't. I've got friends in like you know, I class people like Greg Riley. You know, um, he's been a good mara. He's helped me through a lot in the last few weeks. Um, but we haven't even physically met. Uh, there's a lot of you guys are class as friends out there. Um, it's, but it's you've done a lot for me, and I've not really done a lot for you. Uh, and as I don't really know anybody outside this <laughs> this bubble. <laughs> You know, it's all bubbles in the UK these days, but outside the YouTube bubble, that's about as, uh, you know. So, yeah, I'm the type of bloke I would like to think if our battleship is sinking, um, I will get you up on my shoulders to get you out of that trapdoor before I get myself out of the trapdoor. Is that a good analogy? Um, but as I say, if I've seen, you know, I, I don't trust people in general. Again, it's all down, down to this. Um, and if you're a, a fairly faithless friend, you know, I'll just kick you in the touch, you know, it just won't hear off me. Um, are you a good friend? Uh, broken bones? No, I don't have any. Oh, I have you yeah, have my nose, of course. <laughs> yeah, that's been done a couple of times. Um, it's funny when you think broken bones, you never think of that. You all just think of arms, legs or whatever. I'm touching wood now. Uh, Broken bones. How many TVs do you own? Uh, two. I have to think of that. How big is my house? <laughs> Just don't watch any. Uh, I um, I have the news on all the time. Um, my wife's <laughs> what a relationship. My wife's downstairs. I'm up here. Um, I, I, it's amazing, but I just don't. I just, again, TV, don't like dramas, don't like. I've just got no time for TV. I, YouTube is my stuff, and I don't watch. You know, all these prank videos and laugh videos. Are, the only videos I watch is obviously the people that I'm in. I, uh, the people I, uh, the people I get on with on here that, you know, obviously we, we follow each other's channels. And a few other bits and pieces, I might watch the odd doc. I mean, even documentary. I love, obviously, I'm military history and that. But now it's like stick a load of bloody reenactors on. Sorry, I saw then. I know, they probably say I shouldn't do, do that for me advertising. Um, all the. All the reenactors stuff, uh, you know, they stick, they stick a load of reactors on, get a get a CGI battleship, blowing another CGI battleship up, and that's give it the old days. Just give me a map, give me a show me some maps, show me some black and white photographs, and talk. That's that's all I need to know. So no, I don't watch. Uh, we've got two wife watches a couple of hours before she goes to bed. Um, we've got a little one in the kitchen which plays the news for me whenever I'm cooking tea and stuff like that. Uh, but it is just the news. Uh, uh, worst, worst pain ever. Uh, worst pain. A uh, couple of ones. Uh, blisters. Now they go. Yeah, all right. Shaking your head, laughing. Ooh, blisters. Yeah, blisters. Um, I was training to go into the regulars, and I was a territorial at the time, which is now reservists, but they used to be called territorials in the UK. And I joined the territorials to get into the regulars because uh, my age, um, rather than go through boot camp. And uh, my feet. I'd seen a couple of these lads. We were staying in a in a sunny. Some of the guys on those sunny bridge in North Wales. It's an army training area, and they've got all these like uh, built up areas to fight in. And we stop in usually stop in them overnight if you're not actually digging. You, know, you don't dig holes in sunny bridge really, but you know if we're not if we're not under bashes or something. And uh, we were you know in this barn type thing, and and a couple of the lads had already had blisters and. The medic there was injecting a thing called tickbends into the uh, into the blister, and and he was saying to people, right, some such hold him, hold his, hold him down almost like you know, and I'm thinking, oh you women, <laughs> blisters, oh, and of course my feet <laughs> go down two days later, and uh, oh my life, when you you don't have no pain until you've had tickbends injected into your blisters. Oh, only a couple of minutes of pain, but my life! <laughs> I thought it was sore in my leg off. Uh, so that that was bad. And the other one, um, I've got a, like most of us have worked out, so my back's knackered uh, and uh, the disc popped out. I've done it a few times, and the one time I was, I'd um, taken, I'd taken. Uh, with my, with my sobbies at work with me, I'd, I'd gone up and climbed up and taken 
the uh, tops out of uh, and, and snedded off all these these pine trees. They weren't big; they were skinny. You know, they were probably about 45, 50 feet, something like that, in a in a grounds of an old house that had been knocked down, and they were building a couple of bungalows on. And uh, the developer had said, "Gav, all I want you to do, you take all the greenery off for them, and uh, my guys are." Um, sorry, no, that's it. Yeah. Gav, take all the greenery off them uh, and just knock the poles down. Uh, but can you keep the poles intact? Because we're going to try and sell them for, you know, sell them to a timber merchant. And I told him at the time, you know, timber prices plus where he was, this was in the suburbs, you ain't going to get a timber merchant coming out to get this timber. But anyway, uh, he had to find out himself. So I get a call. Gav, can you come and take these, cut these poles up? I'm just going to sell, you know, have them as firewood or whatever. And uh, I hadn't got, oh, that was it, yeah, I, I got help. I thought, oh, it's something I can save money. I'll just go along and do it myself. Bam, 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 with my saws, you know, just take me, me truck up with me and, and whatever. And anyway, I did two, back flips out. Oh, my life, my eyeballs came out like on stalks. <laughs> and I knew that I was going to be out for three weeks, six weeks. Well, I was self-employed, no money. And I literally went across probably about, couple of hundred feet maybe a bit more uh, and these these luckily these pines were all in like there's somebody planted them all in a big line and uh, so they're all on the floor and but I did the whole lot on my knees uh, with a with a combi can of fuel and chain oil and a chainsaw and I did the whole lot I couldn't move on my knees. I looked like two leaves Lautrec with a chainsaw <laughs> that hurt so uh, yeah, I, I've had a few pains in in my life, and um, of course, head pain isn't particularly great. But uh, there you go. Uh, do you like to dance? Um, back in again late eighties, early nineties, you couldn't get me off that dance floor. Yeah, everybody else was jumping over the sides of the dance floor when Gav got on. But I, I love dancing. Yeah, I'd get up on the when the podium girls had finished, I'd be up there doing my thing. <laughs> But again, once you get with somebody, the dancing days stop. <laughs> uh, so, uh, no, she says, my wife says, I've got no rhythm whatsoever. Uh, do you like camping? Um, my wife hates it. No, and she did it once in her early 20s and has been against it ever since. So it's something we've never done together. Um, and uh, most of the stuff I've done uh, if it's not, it wasn't camping, it was out in the army, you know. Um, so I've got no problem with it, you know. I'd be quite happy. Uh, I'd be quite happy if my back and my body would have stood it to put a backpack on and go off into Yellowstone or whatever, like in the states, you know, and uh, and do 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 it like that. Um, but uh, so I've got no problem with it. So do I like it? I suppose yes. But do I do it now? Are you weird? You're asking that question now after you've just heard all this. Is Gav weird? <laughs> Crazy as a fox. <laughs> Yampy as a box of frogs. Uh, yeah, I'm weird. I've been weird my whole life. I've been told I'm weird many occasions. Uh, it probably is down at me, head, even in my youth. I just see life differently sometimes than other people. Uh, it gives me a different sense of humour. Um, and a different way of looking at the world sometimes. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm weird. <laughs> uh, on a scale of 1 to 10 in weirdness, I'd be 11. There you go. Uh, and it says, it says 40 questions, tag six friends. Well, like most of you said, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I just found it interesting. I wasn't even going to do this, but I've just seen Joe's. Uh, I saw Charlie's the other day. Uh, and I just thought, yeah, I'll, why not? I talk about me enough, myself enough. I'll uh, I'll, I'll bore them all with a bit more. Guys, there you go. You already know a lot about me anyway, so it wasn't really telling you much. I didn't you didn't already know, but it was past an enjoyable half an hour or so while uh, while I wait for my wife to get back. And yes, I'm going to go and do the cooking now. It won't be a cheeseburger. Guess what? Actually, it's a, no, it's a chicken burger tonight. Oh yes, uh, bird's eye frozen chicken burgers. Don't listen to what Jamie Oliver says. There's there's nothing but goodness in them. Beautiful. So <laughs> take care of yourselves, guys. Anybody else wants to do this, feel free. Most of you won't. If it's if old Tom Rambler sixty nine, my good old Mara, if he does do it, 
don't blink your eyes because he'll go through 40 questions in probably about 2.3 seconds. Uh, but no, anybody else want to do it? You know, fill your boots. Uh, you know, crack on. It's only a bit of a laugh. So look after yourselves, guys. Uh, videos coming up. What have we got coming up? We've got um, Tiger Tank. Yes, I'm doing the uh, the tracks tonight, or at least um, I'm going to try. Greg sent me. Oh no, I've washed them downstairs. Uh, I'm going to try the Lincoln Length. That's the word I was after uh, tonight. So uh, and fill some tiny gaps that I've got in the uh, in the tank itself. But all turrets done, guns on, everything else. I'll probably knock half the little track bits off on the side. But uh, yeah, she's uh, she'll be not far off, ready for priming. Probably, probably the weekend. Hopefully, the cavalry build uh, that went really slow. I was supposed to be priming it today, which is why I'm doing this video, because I was going to prime it, saw the time, and thought, not a chance. So, that's why I'm checking the time here. Uh, so yeah, that's got to be primed at the same time the tank's going to be primed. Uh, make use of the time. Is it ergodynamic? No, it's not ergodynamics. Ergo ergonomics? I have no idea, but anyway, I'll try and make the best use of me, my primer and my time. Um, and I've got some other bits and pieces. Got a couple of, probably a couple of unboxings to coming up. Stuff of I'm going to be doing over the Christmas period, um, and that's about it. Look after yourselves. If you like blue cheese, don't let anybody tell you different. Take care.